Greetings and welcome to Simple Scotch Reviews. Here we have Glenmorae. It's the classic. Um, so I'll start off by saying Glenmorae to me is a budget line of whiskeys. They have more expensive whiskeys, the 18, the 25, some others. Um, 25 is excellent. It's an amazing whiskey. Should be for the price and should be for, well, yeah. You expect a lot out of a 25 year old whiskey and also at that price point. But so Glenmorey can make some high end stuff, but also where they are, my favorite is the budget end of whiskey. And I have a very soft spot for Glenmorey because they are willing to make good whiskey and make it cheap. So hats off to you, Glenmorey. You're doing something right. And thank you for your service. Um, but let's just take a look at this whiskey. Um, I'll start off by saying every whiskey, you gotta be, put things in perspective and through the lens. This whiskey is under $20 here in the US, at least where I've seen it, it's under $20. And to me, that should set the bar, the limbo bar at an impossibly low level. <laughs> um, so I'll tell you right now before I start, for a regularly priced, not sale price, regular price, under $20 whiskey, this is the best. And I haven't had anything that can even come remotely close. So I've tried them. I've tried your, what is it? Clan McGregor, J&B, those bottom shelf ones. And all of them to me, you have to mix if you want them, and I don't want to mix scotch, but, well, yeah, you mix it in something that masks the flavor, and then essentially at that point you have vodka, may as well use vodka because it has less off flavor than some of those scotches, but <sighs> to move towards this review, um, this smashes the competition under $20. I've had, I have found other Glen Murray whiskeys on sale for under $20 and they're better under $20 whiskey, but this one for regular price under $20, you, you, yeah, it cannot be beat that I've seen. I'm sure there's something that's not sold here and someone will chime in in the comments, oh, I found this over in England or something and it's probably awesome, but where I've, where I've been, I've not found a better $20 or less whiskey. Like, I think the standard price is $19.99, so $20. But I think if you get it on sale, it's just even more of a steal. So I just wanted to put that at the start of the review. Sorry, I went kind of long on that, but I just wanted to put it because we have to frame our expectations around a $20 whiskey. Because some people have a hard time of differentiating, let's say. They'll have... Glendronic 18 and be like, oh, this is delicious. And then Glen Murray for $19, oh, this is garbage whiskey. Well, if they're the same price, I would never ever buy Glen Murray. So I agree, it's better. But framing the proper perspective here, let's, uh, let's get into it. The nose is very subtle, not a lot going on. I get a little bit of vanilla, hint of fruit, hint of uh, malt, some grass. I want to say like a red or green apple. Usually I can distinctly tell red or green apple, but it's an apple note of some kind. So that fruity note, malt, grass-like note, and vanilla. This whiskey is extremely non-complex. Has that apple note, fruit note. So it's got a fruit note, hint of vanilla, done. That's all there is. I don't get baking specific. I'm trying to find things. I I picked this thing apart and I think I when I wrote notes, I found like one other note and I'll get to that. Finish extremely short. So it is very simple, very short. But again, it's so cheap that 
that's okay. So let's take a look here at my notes. So again, I had more than just this sample bottle. I bought the sample bottle that was on sale for another steal. I think it was under a dollar, but sample bottle just to have a unchanged version of it. So cracked it straight open because I didn't want a bottle that had been sitting open for a while because then it, I know it changes. So let's, this is fresh. Glenn Murray sat in the glass probably 15 or 20 minutes here, but it's fresh. So when I picked this whiskey apart, I didn't get much else on the nose. The more times I had it, I wasn't really finding anything else when I nose it. Um, on the palate, did I mention some caramel or something? No, nothing. It was just, I even noted, not complex, nothing really to dissect. Small amount of vanilla, some fruit, not super flavorful, but not off-putting in any way whatsoever which is the biggest possible win for a sub $20 whiskey. No plastic, I specifically put that because I've got plastic in some of those cheap whiskeys. No plastic, doesn't taste like vodka mixed with something else. It's gentle and nice and not complex. It's a sipper, it's cheap, and it's good, it's good. for that price, it's excellent. Um, Finish extremely short, I wrote. I wrote extremely short. The vanilla carries, and ah, that's why I was thinking caramel. A light caramel shows up in the finish. I'd put that on there from when I was piecing it apart. That's the one thing I found after having it quite a few times. Otherwise, that first impression is all I found. I, it's not one of those whiskeys where you can keep digging, finding things. It's kind of straightforward and not bad, but overall, must try, especially if you're someone that cares about the budget, definitely try. If you're someone that, well, I'd rather just drink $100 whiskey every day, go knock yourself out. If, if you have that kind of money, that sounds like a great strategy if that's what you want to do. But if you're looking for those budget picks, try this one. I haven't found anything else that is, even when it's not on sale, under $20. And it definitely holds its own. I know some Scotch drinkers switch to other types of whiskey like bourbon to try to find value at under $20. The bourbons have jumped up so much in price. And not everyone likes bourbon that likes Scotch. But bourbons, to me, the good ones have jumped up in price. And so it's kind of like... Even at the low price points now, I prefer scotch still. So, but there is something to be said for a change of pace. Even if scotch is your main, I have reviews of Irish. I enjoy a lot of Irish whiskeys. I enjoy scotch. I enjoy bourbon and rye as well. So check out the channel. You'll see my reviews on other types of whiskey. Blended, single malt, blended malt whiskeys. Um, but also there's... More American whiskeys coming. So if you're someone that you like other types of whiskey, more of those reviews are coming. I think right now it's predominantly Irish and Scotch, some Canadian right now. I don't think there's any American whiskeys that's going to change. Um, but subscribe and you'll get notified when those hit. Check out my channel. There's a lot of reviews and there's going to be more. Pick up a bottle though, especially if you're someone that just likes the lower end of things and wants to save money, this is a good scotch for you. Alas, enjoy all your scotch and thanks for watching.